Charles. I am Dr. Contreras, and welcome to Carroll Stream Animal Hospital. Okay, uh, today we're going to learn about uh, taking care of our pets and what everything that we do here at the animal hospital. All right. So, uh, do you guys know what a veterinarian does? What? Yes. Anything else? Anything else? We do, all right? So excellent, so we do all those things. And what? I have no clue. <laughs> excellent, okay, that's fine, all right? Because we're gonna learn about that today, all right? So a veterinarian, right, takes care of pets, all right? Again, we take care of sick pets. We also take care of healthy pets. We try to keep healthy pets healthy, all right? Uh, by giving things like vaccines. We also give them things like preventative medicine, right? So like parasite control, right? So they don't get worms, right? Or anything like yeah. that. <laughs> exactly. And we help to prevent all those things, especially things that can be transferred, all right, to you as well. So we've got to treat, treat, make sure you guys are stay healthy as well, okay? Um, so do any of you have pets? Me. Yeah. I used to, uh, I, I have, have a dog. I have a dog. I saw those beautiful doggies. You have a dog too? What's his name? What? Roni? Nice. Can you have an animal too? Yeah, a dog. All right, excellent. So, all right, so the big thing is, all right, here at Carroll Street Animal Hospital, we know, all right, uh, the best way to take care of pets, okay, is by your whole, by having your whole team, okay? Again, we are, we are our philosophy is well, it takes a team, all right, to really take care of your pets. Do any of you play sports? Or, or is anybody in a band? Uh, uh, play an instrument, all right? <laughs> yes! What do you play? The piano. Oh, nice. Yeah. You play piano as well? That's a very popular instrument. Really <laughs> yeah, but what? Um, okay, excellent, okay. Does anybody play sports? I don't know. It's a sport. Cheerleading. Cheerleading. Oh, cheerleading. Basketball. Basketball? I don't know if it's sports, but I ride and I can. Oh, that's a sport. That is definitely a sport. Soccer. Uh, I'm just kidding. So, yeah. Nice. So great. So, so the big thing about these things, so as a team, right? So when you guys play sports, right? You guys know that you guys have to work together as a team, all right, to win games. And you have to, when you guys play music, you know you have to play together to make a great sound, okay? Yeah. And so, again. It's really easy. Oh. oh yeah, I bet. All right, so absolutely. So, um, so again, there's no difference as far as again uh, being in an animal hospital. Again, we, it takes everybody here, all right, to help. So our first person, okay, that all of our clients meet is our front desk. All right, and we have our beautiful Katie. So Katie, oh. do you want to? Oh. And, and you, there. but Katie, and you want to? Do you want to say all the important things that you do here at the animal hospital? Say hello, this is Jolie. Hello. I don't usually get to play with dogs up here though. I get to say hi to the other dogs when they come in, but not have my dogs here. Oh, but awesome. when you guys come in the front door, I'm the first person you see, so I always say hello to you. I welcome you guys. I schedule appointments for the doctors because it's very important that you guys get your animals in for appointments, for those shots I heard them say, those vaccines, for surgeries. What else do we do, Marilyn? People come in to pick up their medicines from pharmacies, so we make sure they get the correct medicine. Um, people come in to purchase special diet food. You yep. see the bags around, and so we make sure they get the correct diet food for their pet. Um, Dr. Contreras is very good about putting in the records <laughs> what specific diet food the dogs and cats need, and um, what specific meds. Um, the other thing we do is um, um, I just we, answer, or we answer questions that any, you know, any clients have. We try to answer them the best that we can or we give it to the doctors. Those are the smartest ones. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But no, but that's about it. Excellent. So excellent. So as you guys can see, right? Again, it takes again it takes a front desk. It takes our technician. It takes our technician. It takes our um, front. It takes our uh, our office manager. It takes the veterinarian, and it takes the owners of the practice. It all it takes all of us to really work together to provide the best care for our patients. All right. So when everybody first comes in here, okay, after they meet our front desk, we all have to meet the Carol Stream Animal mascot. Okay. You guys want to meet the mascot? Yes! Yeah. Oh, 
This, all right, is a Euromastics, all right? This is Jean Paul, all right? So this is a very sweet, sweet lizard, okay? She is very sweet, and if we want to, we want to touch, all right, we can touch back here, okay? We can touch our baby back there, yes, all right? And so the thing with, all right, so the thing with our lizard, the most important thing with our lizard, right? Is that they need to have a good home, so they need to have a good environment, right? So our baby needs a good heat source. And if you can see, what else do you see in the cage? Ooh, the log. The log. The log, right? Because we, so we can climb, so we have a good enriching environment. What else? We do. We have the sand because you know what? Our lizard here lives in the desert, so they love they love being in sand. They love digging. What else do you see? Water and food, right? Because that you need that for life, right? So it's extremely important. Does anybody else want to touch John Paul? Me. Does, now does everybody want a lizard now? Because they're so awesome. Me. All right. <laughs> so, but, but you can see, right? They take a lot of work, right? There's a lot of things that need to go in there. There needs to be water all the time. There needs to be. We need to have a good food source. We need to have a very good, enriching environment. Okay. So John Paul, it takes a lot of work, all right, to have this type of pet, all right. Actually, let's meet our next team member, okay? Which is our technicians and our veterinary assistants, which is Lorraine, all right. Okay. So what I do after they come into the hospital and they get checked in by the receptionist, then I'll come out and I'll call their name and I take them into the exam room. Um, if it's a bigger dog, then we'll bring them over here to the scale and we'll get a weight. Weight is very important. Uh, to get on all animals. The smaller animals will weigh on a little scale on the back. Um, it's important to keep track of their weight because if they lose weight, that might mean something's wrong with them. Maybe they're sick. So after we get a weight, then I'll take them in the room and I'll find out why they're here, if they're sick or if they're just here for a checkup and find out what, what uh, is going on with them. And then I'll listen to their heart and I'll see how fast they're breathing, take their temperature. And then I go and get the doctor, and then the doctor comes in and takes over and talks to the client and does starts the exam with the, the dog or the cat. Yeah. <laughs> or the, the fish or the, the yes. lizard. Or the lizard or the hamster or the bird. We see different. Parrots. Yes, parrots. Mm -hmm. Other kinds of birds. Yeah, all different kinds. And, to, and, and she has to go to do extra schooling, just so you know, and she's almost done. So how much time you got left? I have 10 days left of school. And so how long was it? It took me five years, because I've been working full time here, so it took me a long time to get through school. But I'll be done in 10 days, and then I'll have to go take a big test, and then I'll be what they say, certified vet test. Yay! Oh, we're, we're very excited. All right, excellent. Okay, so now, all right, we're going to, let's go into an exam room, all right, and we're going to just, we'll just look at the exam room, and then we'll go out, and then we'll do something else, okay? But let's go, let's just look at the exam room. Okay, so when we bring our dogs, we first we bring them in here, okay, we bring all our animals in here. Cats, usually for, with cats, we have other exam rooms where they're just tables, but this exam room is great. Because I can put I big see. dogs, right? I can use this little lift table, and then they can slowly go up. And that way, Dr. Contreras can keep his back for a couple more years, okay? Because when you get old like me, all right, your back will go out on you very easily, all right? So, and then the other thing that we have in the room, we have little things on the wall so that our clients can learn about things, okay? Uh, some of our exam rooms have other things. And then we have things like models, all right? Because some people are visual learners, all right? So we like to... Oh yeah, you can't Come see. That's coming. I'm so sorry. All right. That way you can see better. Absolutely. So again, and, and so what we have a lot of times in our exam rooms, okay, we have little models, all right, because some of our doggies have certain conditions, okay, that we can show owners, all right, because me, I have to see something in order for me to really understand it. I'm a visual learner. I like to see things, all right. I even have stuff like here. I even have little little boards here, all right, that I draw on. I love showing owners and teaching them, all right, what's going on with their pet, all right. We also have uh, little treats for our, for our patients. You know why? Because I want every pet to love me, 
All right, so I, I just try feeding them, I keep feeding them, I keep feeding them, right? So they associate me with something great, all right? So I love, so this is my favorite part. The favorite part is giving doggies treats, all right? And again, we just have some more educational things, and we're going to actually talk about some more of these things later when we get to the lab, sorry, portion, okay? Do you know what other job veterinarians have? Is there anything else that veterinarians do? Do you know? Nothing else? Guys, you know some vets work on farms? Ooh. They work with like, all right, like cows and everything like that. Some work with horses. Yes. What about some other animals? Do you know? We have some. Go ahead. Chickens. Chickens, absolutely. Sheep. We have we have strictly vet. poultry vets, absolutely. Sheep, Sheep absolutely. Oh, pigs. <laughs> That's right. We have some well, pig my... vets. All right. Yeah. All right, yeah. Dr. Corey would love you. Bring. All right, and so good. We have other vets, right, that work in you know in the aquatic and uh, and you know work with fish and things like that. Aquatic vets. We have vets that work just in zoos. All right, we have vets too that work in government. All right, that help protect us or protect our food supply and things like that. So there are so many other jobs that vets have, which is wonderful, right? So if you become a vet, you can do so many different things. The other things too is that some vets. I'm a general practitioner, so most of, most everybody brings their pets to me initially, and if there is something that I don't have, okay, I can refer them. So if they need cataract surgery, or if they need um, certain type of skin tests, or dermatologists, or they they need to look at their heart more closely, they can they can do that. So we have specialized vets, and that's a lot more schooling, okay. But they're very good to have. Did any of you read like detective stories or anything like that? Yeah. Huh? Uh, because uh, you guys don't know any detectives? Is Nancy Drew? Is that is that too old? Am I dating Nancy, myself there? <laughs> is that a detective? I read about Nancy Drew. Huh? I read about Nancy Drew. Okay, so because that's what vets do. We're, we are detectives, all right? So what we do is we, we are detectives. We gather information, okay? Uh, we gather as much information as we can about our pets. We ask questions. All right, we, we also do is we take lots of notes. You see us writing, writing, writing from everything that they say. And then we gather, right? Um, we gather more information from um, our patients. That's like doing the physical examination, all right? And then we also have to decode information like blood work or x-rays. And we're going to show you guys some of those things, all right? And then we also we have, to figure, guys, we have to figure out what the problem is, all right? And then, uh, and then the last thing we always have to make our notes on our medical record, okay? So... Vets are basically animal detectives, okay? And so that's what we have to bring all this together, all right? So let's get our doggies and let's do our physical exam so we can kind of learn about our pets, okay? So one of the first things that I do, okay, when I look at doggies, I look at their teeth, okay? So I look at our baby's teeth and I look, look how good, look how good looking these teeth are. They're nice and white, okay? And they're pearly white, and so again, the teeth, right? You guys go to the dentist, don't you? Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so there's no different with our doggies, okay? They actually still need to brush their teeth, okay? How? So, how? Oh, you just literally, you stick a little tooth, well, you put some toothpaste on there, and you lift their lip up, and then you just go like this, okay? And so again, they shouldn't be brushing their teeth just like we do. How often do you guys brush your teeth? Two days a week. <laughs> Anybody else? <laughs> Every day. I feel like, okay. <laughs> Every day. Okay, which is wonderful. All right. And so they should, they, it does. It takes about 24 hours of digital calculus to form. So that's why we do it every day. All right. So the next thing that we do, I do, is I look at their eyes. Oh. And then I look at their eyes, okay, which is wonderful. I have a little instrument that I use, okay? And then, so I'm going to let every one of you, I want every one of you really quickly, okay, you're going to look in here, okay, as I'm holding the eye, and you're going to be able to see inside the eye, okay? <laughs> and so what happens here is when I, when we look in the eye, when we look in the eye, hold on, let me get this at the right setting, all right? I'm so happy. We're gonna go up just like this first. Get the right setting. Oh, okay, excellent. Okay, so really quickly, you're gonna look through this piece here, okay? And you can look all the way in the back of the eye. You see? Oh, we're going the other way. Okay, now somebody else. All right. Me. Go ahead. All right. Oh, we gotta be. I don't know how long our baby's gonna be able to take this. All right. Can you see? Gross. Yeah. Anybody else want to see? I wanna see. Okay. Look in there. Can you see right in there? You're looking in the back of the eye, which is so wonderful, is because that can give us a lot of information, okay? Go ahead. All right. So the eyes 
are like the windows into the body, into the rest of the body, okay? And they can tell us a lot of information about any kind of infection. They can tell us about blood pressure. They can tell us about certain types of heart disease, okay? So again, that is extremely important information. I will. You're, I think you are so smart. Let's do that. Oh. So smart. Okay. Can you see in there? That? That? Did everybody? Okay. And go ahead. Very cool. Okay. Oh, you didn't get to see? Oh, come on, come on. Oh, of course. Oh, right. So again, right? So that's so important, right? So we can see inside the eye. So that's one of the things that I do. I look at everything around the eye as well. Okay. So the next thing that I do, all right? The next thing that I do is I look into the ear, okay? And so my wife gets so excited when we talk about ears. She's a speech therapist, so she gets really excited when you talk about ears, okay? But what we do, and they're very cool structures, all right? So what we do is that we look, I looked up on the ear because they have an L-shaped ear. And then I look, and I can look through there with this little, little, little um, otoscope, okay? And I can look through there, and it can actually magnify everything. And so, instead of torturing our poor doggy, all right, this is exactly what I do. So you see how there's an L shape here? I actually lift up on the ear, so I straighten that out, and I can look at this structure back here, which is so important, especially if we have any kind of ear disease, okay? So that's a very important thing for me to be able to see every day, all right? So then next, what I usually do is I work my way back, I'm feeling the skin, and then I listen to the heart, all right? Does everybody know what the heart does? Go ahead. It pumps. It pumps. The heart is a pump. Excellent. Okay. The heart is a pump. Go ahead. It pumps blood. It pumps blood. All throughout our body because we need blood to all the different parts of our body. So does everyone want to hear the heart? Yes. All right. All right. Close up. Close up. Can you hear it? Yeah. Can you hear it? Yeah. Did you hear it? Oh, did you get to hear? <laughs> so what happens is, right, so you hear the bump, 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 right? So that's a normal sounding heart. So when I listen to the heart, I can see if it makes a different sound, all right? And I can tell if it's normal rhythm. So that's very important that I can tell about the heart, all right? And so the next thing that we do is I feel our baby over, okay? And I can tell what our weight is, all right? So weight in animals is so important to know. So when we feel our doggy over, all right, because if we're too big, if our doggies are too big, all right, that can cause problems with other areas like joints and things like that. And so then your vet will have a big talk about nutrition with you guys, okay? <laughs> and so do you guys know uh, some things? What do you guys feed your animals? Does anybody know? <laughs> Dog food and cat food. Right, excellent. So we should be feeding dog food and to dogs and cat food to cat, all right? And it's extremely important because they should, because their systems, okay, aren't the same as ours. So they should not be getting our table scraps and things like that, okay? Okay. So now that we have, we evaluated our doggy, all right? And so do you guys know some technologies that can help me treat or, try, or help me figure out if our, if our patient is sick or not. You guys know any other things that I can do? Any other? Huh? Anything? Anything? Any other technologies that I might use? What's that? Treats? <laughs> I love giving them treats. I do. <laughs> any other thing? Let me show you guys some things, all right? So we're going to go in here. How do you huh? feed the dog? Exam center? What's that? Yes, absolutely. So let's go in here, okay? Excellent. Okay. So x-rays are something, right? So, all right. So x-rays, right, are, some, are a way for me to look into our doggy or kitty cat or other animals, and we can see what's going on with them, all right? Do you guys want to see some x-rays? Yeah. All right, let's see some fun x-rays, all right? So we're going to start with our old school x-rays first, okay? We don't have these anymore. But, Whoa. all right, and you guys, what's the problem with this animal? Here, let's turn that light off. Oh, it's a bird. 
Oh yeah, so that's the main problem. It's a bird. Okay? So, it looks like that's the chicken. that's the problem with that thing. It's a bird. Okay. Ooh, how about this one? It looks like a dog. So this is the dog. Yeah. So this yeah. is his leg. Excellent job. All right. So this is the doggy's leg. Okay. Do you guys know what's wrong? Might be wrong with this leg? Uh, it's sort of like bent or something. It's totally bent. It is totally bent. All right, and it is broken. All right, so do you what see this? Here? Oh, yeah, I saw it is excellent. Excellent. Yes, it is broken. No, get excited. I get excited. Okay. Well, Why? I mean, I feel for the dog. Okay. <laughs> but we fix the dog. We want to fix the dog, right? We have to figure out what's How going on. How do you on. fix the dog? Okay. How do we fix the dog? I put a little pin in there. Okay. So, Ooh, that any, looks like the dog's back leg. So this, or whoa! It says I have the dog's awesome. back leg. That's totally right. That's his tail, and this is his back leg. And do you see what's wrong with this leg? Uh, it's broken. It's broken. We take a lot of X-rays for broken legs. It's still huh? broken. It's still broken. <laughs> this is a different dog, different leg. Don't worry, it wasn't the same one. All right, let's see. Body would be broken. All right. Let's see. Let's do. <coughs> So now let's look at this one. What is oh jeez, what's this? Oh, it totally is. Excellent job. Okay, it's a snake. It's a snake. Snake. Like it has something like it totally does. You are excellent at X-rays. Okay, because look, it has something going on right here. This is a big, big lesion in the snake, and I, and you know, and I think it's uh, yeah. <laughs> And fortunately, it was not a mouse. All right, but uh, it's a, I think it was okay. Oh, so this is how we fix the leg. Do you see what's going on with that leg? It was. It's a human leg. It's not. No, but but looks very similar. Okay. Yes, it's a dog. So it was a broken leg, and do you see what's in the leg now? Uh huh. A pin. A pin. Yes, a pin. So we put a pin in there to help fix this leg. So we had to take the X-ray first, right? Because we had to figure out what was wrong with it first, and then we can do it. And then we can find out. All right. What's wrong with it's this animal? Bird. It's a bird. It's, it's a, a bird. bird. That's yeah, totally. Okay. It's a bird. All right. That's we'll say that for Doctor 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 Cerebasi. Okay. It's a lizard. That is a lizard. All right. Lizard. This is another broken bone. <gasps> okay. So this one. So this is a. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the one I want you guys to really put your thinking caps on, okay? okay? This doggy came in because its belly was really big. And the owner was like, my dog's belly is getting so big, all right? And we had to figure out why its belly no, was getting so big. No exercise. No, oh. no exercise. That's a great, great, great differential, okay? Oh, babies, babies, babies. <laughs> Do you guys see this? You see this like, thing oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, my goodness, yes, there are babies in here, okay? Wait, how many babies can you see? Oh, one, two, six. three, four, five, six, close, seven, all right? Oh, my God. A babies. lot of babies, okay? So we didn't know what was going on. So we did, but we, we had to take the x-ray to confirm, okay? So there was babies going on. So the thought was okay. They ended up being just fine, okay? So, next, all right. So this is an x-ray we took today. So this is more modern age, okay, right now. So we have things on computers now, all right? And so this day, this, this kitty cat was coming in because it was straining every single time it was in the litter box. So this is the kitty cat's bladder. Go ahead. What does that mean? That means, oh, all right? It was straining oh, every time it was in the litter box. So when we look at its bladder, it had stones in its bladder. Oh, oh. So don't worry, because we're going to fix this kitty cat, okay? We're going to take those stones right out, and we're going to get on a good diet. But again, how helpful are x-rays? So this doggy came in. It looks really This doggy came in because it kept throwing up. All right? And so I know vomit is sort of gross, okay? And so, do you guys see anything abnormal? Oh! Dots? Excellent. Yes, yes. Oh, that's saying the dots. The dots. Absolutely. Hey, there's dots. There's dots, dots all, dots. all <laughs> over, and that is not normal. You know what that was? What? Rocks. This dog was eating rocks. Right? So, but don't worry, okay? This doggy did just fine, and actually, all these rocks made it through, okay? So this dog got very, 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 very lucky. Okay, and it ended up doing just fine. Okay, 
And there's one more. Yeah, let's see. One more. We'll show one more. Okay, because this one's kind of fun. All right, because it's almost because it's so Watch. close. Because it's so so close to Thanksgiving. Okay, this one's a lot harder. Okay, this is a lot harder. All right, but. Ooh. What? Go ahead. <laughs> so this is a stomach, but this right here is a bunch of turkey bones. Ooh, it's turkey a turkey bones. bones. Are dogs supposed to eat turkey bones whole? No. So this Thanksgiving, all right, is it Rosie? What's your doggy name? Rosie and Wrigley. Rosie and Wrigley. Rosie and Wrigley are not allowed to have turkey dinner, okay? So this doggy, we had to remove those, okay, from its stomach, all right? So no turkeys, all right? But our x-ray is wonderful, right? We can learn so much, all right, from x-rays. All right, so let's go to the next part. Of, let's go to the next portion over here, okay? Because there's something else that we can do for our doggies. Uh, don't worry about that. So the next thing that we can help us use, so Excellent. What is this? Does anybody know? Uh-huh. Close. Close. Microscope. Okay. That is. So. All right. So sometimes, okay. So what we can do. So if our doggies are sick, I can take a little sample of blood. Okay. And what I can do is I can put it on a slide, just like this. All right. And look at this. This is so awesome. All right. So what we can do. Oh, can look at this underneath the microscope and we can get some information. All right, and you, everybody look into the microscope, all right? And so, and be very, very careful. Yeah, hold on to this while you go up, okay? Just hold on to that. Can you look in there? Can you see in there? All right, so everybody, don't worry, everybody's gonna get to see it, all right? <coughs> and so, as you can see, oh, go ahead, go ahead, when you get your turn, go ahead, just keep looking. You guys, you see this here? So that is going to be on there. So here, right, I put some blood on here. You can't see anything, right? So this microscope helps me to magnify something so huge, all right? So I can look at the blood on here, and I can see the shape of the blood cells. So you are looking at blood cells, all right? And I can see if those blood cells are abnormal shape. I can see if they're abnormal um, size, color, <clears throat> or if there's any kind of parasites. Would that be gross to see, huh? All right. All right, so is 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 so is blood very cool, guys? Is blood pretty I cool? Seen it yet. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. Molly, are you, are you do you love blood? Just the little dots. No, oh come on! It's just little blood. It is, but that little those little blots give you so much information, I and they can help me. <laughs> it is. It's much better when it's in your body, okay? But it gives you so much information because I can tell if your dog needs. It can help me tell maybe what's going on with your doggy if it's sick, okay? All right, so next thing that our doggies like to do, all right, so sometimes our doggies can have uh, abnormal poopies, okay? <laughs> I know, so gross. However, we can look at this. We can look at it underneath the microscope as well, and we can see things like this, okay? <gasps> you see this? So if I see any of these things, so... <laughs> so, these are eggs. so this is eggs. So these are eggs that might be in poop. So the reason why the reason why we give things like heart guard or other intestinal uh, intestinal parasite preventatives helps to prevent our doggies from ever getting these things. So sometimes too. So some of these things, round worms, okay, and ooh, not whipworms really. Where's our hookworms? And hookworms, all right. So those are ones that we have to be very, very careful about because those can be transmitted to you and I, and we don't want those, right? So we got to make sure our doggies are on preventatives, all right, to help so we don't ever have to see this. So we can see that when we have in our poop, okay? And I know poop, right? Oh my goodness, all right. Oh. So, all right, but these are other things, okay? They, they do. But these are little worms. And so, yeah. And so these are little worms sometimes that we see. So guys, we never want to have our doggies to have these, right? So that's why we need to be on flea and tick, all right? Preventative, because that's how we get these gross worms, okay? So that's where we have to take care of our dog. It's a heart. Heart. Nice. All right? So this is a heart. Do you guys know what these might be? Uh, Oh, close. 
Who said that? Me. Wait, no. Wait, no. Wait, what is this? Who said this? What are these? Worms. They said they. Worms. All right. So, do you think it's right for your heart to have worms in it? No. Oh. Uh uh. Do you know how doggies get this? No. By playing. By getting. Uh, by eating stuff. No, not even no, eating stuff. But good job. Good job thinking about that. By a mosquito. So a mosquito. Mosquito can do that much. Can give you. Can give dogs. Okay. Heartworms. So that's why we're going to make sure that we treat our dogs right. We give them preventative. So that we can prevent them from ever developing this, okay? Because the mosquito bites the dog, and they inject, all right, certain organisms into them, and then these organisms travel to the heart, and then they live there, okay? Isn't that gross? Very gross, okay? Oh, uh, how do you get them out? You have to give medication. You give a lot. Of, it's a really hard, and this damages the heart. It, well, this can, right, but if we give we give the medication to help prevent that, but this can cause damage and things like that, so we don't ever, ever do that, right? We're going to give our doggies medication so they never have to deal with this, correct? Excellent. All right, so you guys see how technology, right, x-rays, microscopes, all right, or slides help us treat our pets, right? Is that cool? And so there's lots of other technologies, MRI and lasers, lasers, that can also help our doggies as well, okay? This is where we do all of our surgeries. So you can come, you guys can see. So this is where we do all of our surgeries on our doggies, all right? And you know what's so cool? With our surgeries here, all right, we have all types of equipment to make sure that when while we're doing surgery on our pets, all right, they're being monitored very closely, okay, with all kinds, that's all equipment there that helps us monitor our pets while they're having surgery, so it's very, very safe, okay? So this is our surgery suite, all right? And then this over here, all right, this little cool device, all right, is where we, this, this little device here, very cool, because this helps us do all of our dental work. So when our doggies have really bad breath, and they have uh, really bad teeth and lots of cavities, okay? <laughs> None of the cavities, but this is, where they get their teeth. this is where they get their teeth cleaned, absolutely, okay? All right, so what questions do you guys have about everything that we've done today? About how we take care of our pets, go ahead. Oh, how do you take the blood out of your dogs? Oh, great question. What's on? Excellent. So we have things called veins, okay? So one vein is in our doggy's arm that we can very easily get to, and we have another vein that is in our neck, okay, that we can get to as well, okay? So those are the two areas, and we have one in our back leg. So we have all those. Those are all of our areas that we can get blood from. Great question. So who wants a new puppy? Me! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that is the that is a great one. Oh, wonderful. Okay, yes. All right. So we all want we all want puppies. Oh, oh, that's a great, great. Okay. So I know we all want puppies. But what does a puppy need to stay healthy? Lots of care. Huh? Healthy food. So all right, needs good, healthy nutrition. What else do they need? <laughs> It needs to absolutely. It needs to have at least a yearly checkup so we can make sure we evaluate our pets to make sure they're healthy. Absolutely. Go ahead. Oh, I love teeth brushing. Yes. Go ahead. Good care. Great care. Absolutely. So, what kind of care? Um, like making sure they're all clean. Absolutely. So we need to make sure, right? Because lots of times you still have to bathe. You have to bathe, especially if they're stinky. Go ahead. Yeah, they should eat you know, uh, every day. Absolutely. Okay, go ahead. <sighs> Exercise. Yes. Our doggies and our our doggies and our kitty cats need to be have good, great exercise, all right, to stay healthy. Just like you guys get exercise and you guys eat healthy foods. Go ahead. <sighs> Playtime. Playtime is so important because, all right, it teaches our pets again. Activity, right? To be active. It also teaches them how properly to act as well. Okay, so educating them as well, teaching them to sit, stand, you know, do all these ooh, other things. Ooh, absolutely. Ooh, yes. Ooh, go ahead. How to train? Train them. Absolutely. They need to be tough so that they can what play appropriately and act appropriately around you guys. So yes, they need to be tough. They need to be. You need to teach them. 
Do you actually do you need to walk your dog? You need to walk them. That's so important. You need to walk your doggies. Exercise is key. Uh, they do need sleep. <laughs> Don't worry though. They'll usually get that well enough on their own. <laughs> Dogs and cats are usually great so sleepers. Parents. <laughs> parents need sleep too. All right. You guys, that was absolutely what a microchip or like a collar. Because I think it can't talk. So if your doggy gets away, you need to make sure that they come back to you. So they need to have something to identify themselves. Absolutely. All right. And so the best, what's the one thing that they definitely need? Everybody needs. Lots, lots of love. Our, our doggies need love. Our dogs and kitties are, you know, you know, even our lizards. Uh, I'll go either way on birds. I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> but they all your animals. They do. They need love and support. Okay, guys. All right. So you guys were absolutely wonderful. All right. You guys. <laughs> You're gonna talk to your mom about that or your dad? Uh, they can talk dad, to me. Sister, and they can talk to me, okay? My, my sister's not fine, but my dad's fine. My mom's not fine. Uh oh. Yeah, Alright. Oh, so remember, because it's a lot of responsibility. Her. It's a lot of responsibility. Okay? So you guys know how to take care of your pets today, correct? Correct. Everybody knows how to take care of their pets, so they're gonna, you know, if you guys get a pet, you guys are gonna know how to take care of them properly. Okay? Alright, wonderful. Alright, let's go to the front. I'm gonna give you eat something the second best to a pet. You're gonna get a little baggy, okay? I don't have fun stuff in it. How about that? Yeah. Yeah. Just for fun. Alright, let's go to the front. Right. I have a question. Yes. How do you make my children brush my teeth dogs more often? Oh. <laughs> you gotta make it so much. You make it so much. You gotta get your teeth. You you before you brush your teeth, you should be brushing your animal's yeah. teeth, okay? Right? With right. doggy right. toothpaste. With yes. doggy toothpaste. Yes. 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 Most important, honey. Yes. Most important. Doggy it's toothpaste. And. And, and, and the thing is, yeah, absolutely. And again, the thing is too, right? When you are doing that, right, you're bonding, all right. So it should be, a, it should be a fun, fun, fun process. Does Ricky okay? like his teeth brush? Just Ricky? No. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make it fun. He won't we'll start licking. It. We'll make it fun. That's okay. Licking's okay. Licking is okay. Licking is okay. <laughs> I want to thank my niece along with uh, all the Girl Scouts for joining us for a fun day at the vets. So thank you guys, and I hope you had fun. Yay! What do you guys say? Thank you! All right, high fives. Yeah. High fives. High fives. You guys were awesome. And awesome. they earned a badge. Awesome. So that's oh, awesome. Wow. Well, for many yes. times. Okay. No, you guys Excellent. earned your pet badge. You guys were